Hi, Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We've already upgraded the radio, the speakers, and the antenna on our weekend wrench project car. Today, we're going to continue the interior upgrades with this Ford Tooling dash pad. Cracked and warped dash pads are very common in 60s Mustangs like our 65, so follow along, we're going to show you how to install one. This dash pad was made from original Ford Tooling, so it's going to be an exact copy of our original pad, right down to the grain inside the vinyl. Flipping it over, has the correct studs for installation, even has the Ford logo embossed on the inside. For this installation, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a short or right angle Phillips head screwdriver, quarter inch ratchet, short extension, 3 8 socket, panel removal tool, pick, plastic pry bar, flashlight, and a razor blade. We're ready to install our new dash pad. The dash pad on our 65 is actually not in that bad a shape, it's an aftermarket reproduction, so we want to upgrade to the Ford tooling piece. The dash pad's held in by these brackets above your glove box and above the cluster, then two more brackets on the windshield. You also have to remove your speaker grill and your speaker to pull off the dash pad. We're going to remove the two screws holding our dash speaker grill in. A short or a right hand screwdriver will make this a lot easier. Now we'll remove the four screws holding in our speaker. Since our speaker is soldered to our terminal here, it's going to slide it through the dash and rest it on top of the stereo. That'll allow us to pull our dash pad out. Now we're going to pull out the brackets between the pad and the windshield. Now I'll remove the trim around our gauge cluster. Once you have the screws off, there are two door panel style clips in the middle that have to be removed as well. Now we get the pieces above our glove box. Clips are a little tighter on the sides, so we're going to use our door panel removal tool to get them off. The last hardware holding in our dash pad are these two studs, there's one on each side. Now we're going to move the clips to hold in the defroster vents. Simply push up from underneath, and it'll pop right out. The outside one here, you can use a pick to give you a hand. Defroster ducts are normally going to be clamped on. At some point in time, ours were taped. So we're going to remove the tape so we can get them off. Now we're going to pull down on the center here to release the two studs from the dash. We can remove our old dash pad. Since we found our defroster hoses were taped at the top, we checked the bottom. They're also taped up down here. While we have our dash pad apart, we're going to put a new set in from Scott Drake. Now we're ready to begin the installation of our new dash pad. We're going to start by just laying the pad on top. We get these two studs aligned with the bottom of the dash and use them as anchors to install everything else. Now we're going to install the supplied washers and nuts on the back of the studs. You want to tighten these down snug. Be careful not to over tighten them since the stud is in the vinyl it can strip easily. The bottom of the dash pad is pre-drilled for four of the five holes to put our molding on. We're going to start with the clips in the center. You want to kind of push down and in on the pad to line up the holes with the metal hole in the dash. You want to get everything lined up here. Again, the hole in the dash, the hole in the pad. Again, these moldings are fairly thin, so get them snug, no reason to over crank them. The last hole, we just have to puncture a hole in the vinyl. Once you have this molding screwed in all the way, you may have a little excess vinyl at the edge here. So we'll take a razor blade and clean that up.
And our driver's side trim is going to install in the same way. We're going to line up the two clips in the center first and then put the screws on the ends. A lot of times with these you can use a pick to get the whole, get everything lined up, remove it, hold it in place, and then put the screw in. Okay, we'll do the same thing for the end here. We'll poke a hole through the vinyl. And we'll grab our razor blade and just trim this edge off. Now we're gonna install our new defroster vents. We're gonna push the vinyl as far forward as possible to make the holes accessible for the ducts. In this case, we're gonna trim it out just a little bit, make it easier to get to. Since our original vents were all taped up, we ordered a new set of hoses and a new set of vents. Get them down into place and use the supplied clips. And we're going to bring our speaker back up to the sitting flat here. I'll put our speaker grill back into place here. Poke holes through the vinyl to find the mounting holes. Now we're going to make sure the front edge of the vinyl from our dash pad is going to be underneath the window weather stripping. Using a flathead screwdriver or a plastic pry bar, push straight across, make sure it's underneath. Usually the middle's not a problem, but sometimes on the edges it will get hung up just a little bit. Now we're going to lay our window molding in place. We're going to start with the center hole. It's usually the easiest one to see. You don't want to tighten this down all the way. Tight just enough so it doesn't move, so you've got a little bit of play to get the other holes lined up. Once we get the ends in, then we're going to go back and tighten up our center screw. And we're finished with our dash pad. Getting the screws in this dash pad is going to be probably one of the most time consuming parts of the installation. Getting the lineup just right can take a little bit of time, but if you use a pick to find the hole, it'll make it a lot easier. Now for the last step, we're going to connect our new hoses. And you fish them down under the dash. And connect them to our plug. And our installation's finished. Even though the dash pad we removed from our weekend wrench wasn't really in bad shape, our Ford towing dash pad is still a huge improvement. If you have a typically damaged warped dash pad in your 60s Mustang, it's going to be a night and day difference when you're finished. Figure installation is going to take you about an hour and a half to two hours. You'll be back on the road in no time.